side word. Dev, this is your article. I've had a little quick read, right? Coronavirus. Yeah. But not really coronavirus. More so corona beers. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. So, I hope there's a link between the corona beers <laughs> and the coronavirus. The title is a little misleading. The title says coronavirus. Owners of corona, the beer, report 132 million pound loss following the outbreak. 132 million pounds, which is basically 170 million dollars, right? So the company, the owner that owns Corona also owns Budweiser, Stella Artois and Bex. And I think they're all down. Oh, they're all down. So it's down. not just Corona. They just like to use Corona, you know, because of Corona. But the last two months since the outbreak, they've seen a massive decline in their sales. The worst decade, worst quarter in a decade. Worst quarter in a decade. Huh. Yes. Okay. So but it's, is it, did they say that the Corona had a worse drop than the Budweiser and everything else. It doesn't specifically say. That's what I thought it was going to, but it doesn't specifically say that. Other spirits have been affected too. And I thought they, they were down. When you told me about this, I thought they were down because of the name. So did I. So did I. Because <laughs> I've seen those memes. So I've seen those memes like this is the this is the best virus or something like that. And it's got a picture of Corona yeah. or whatever. I don't know. Um but I thought that's what it was going to be, but no, it's not. Uh, me? Either. Yeah, okay. The reason's more boring than that. Oh. I just saw the title and it said, Coronas are down 132 million pounds because of the, the, virus. the virus. The actual reason is because everyone's been, there's no nightlife. There's no restaurants, eating out oh, bars in China. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's is Corona no, the biggest, um, is Corona There's a lot of people. Yeah, I know, but is it is that what most people drink in Budweiser, Stella, Bex Corona, all yeah. owned by one owner, and all that nightlife is like down. Bex, what's Bex? Who's who owned Bex? Who owns That's the Bex? Green Bottle, isn't it? Bex is yeah. that German? Mm. Well, the owner is called An Anheuser Busch in Bev. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense for Corona. So my question, uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm asking is because like Corona, Coronas <laughs> are supposed to be a Mexican beer. I don't think Mexicans it, drink Corona. And it's like Lager, uh, Foster. Aussies it's supposed don't, to be Aussie. Yeah, but uh, Aussies don't drink Foster, Foster beer. Like, I don't, I, I don't see anyone drinking Foster beer. Anyway, just a side note. Continue, <laughs> with, this, continue with the article. You digress. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, basically, it's down so much that the CE has had to forfeit his bonus. Um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. I wonder what his bonus is. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder if his bonus could pay for a whole new house 100%. or a boat or, I don't know. More, like a town. <laughs> like a town. Bonus. But, yeah, I mean, it's, to be honest, that is pretty crazy. Because your it whole is. revenue is based off of that nightlife or restaurant life or whatever. I mean, There's been a lot of talks there. about how um, the virus has affected the economy. So things like Netflix... Stocks have gone up because people are yes. at home more oh. using Netflix. But then things like Uber and beer and anything where you go out like in, and socialize or go into public is down. Oh, hmm. Uber. Which is interesting. That is, that's very interesting. Wait, what's going to happen to... I wonder if... And I'm pretty sure they've got to have some sort of cover, like local businesses and stuff like that can get insurance payouts what, for... What, like, what would you... In like you go, what would you apply? Like, what claim are you putting in? It's an unforeseen circumstance. Could you just say that for anything? I have bad food. It was unforeseen circumstances that there I There is have definitely bad cover for unforeseen circumstances, but all the policies would have their own. I'm sure there's some type of cover that they can get. But in a lot of cases, and especially insurance companies, and in any contract really, there's that clause which said if it's an act of God, then yes. they don't come. Then that's not, yeah. Or warfare. Mm. Or um, warfare. warfare. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So terrorism, warfare. They don't cover you. No. 
Hmm. I'll get my policy booklet out That's and start reading. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying the lint, um, oh, I don't want to say it, but are you saying if someone, if there was a terrorist attack in your shop, you, you're not covered? Like if they ruin your shop, you're just not covered? Is that what you're saying? Is that class as an, is that act of war as well though? I'm not sure. I know that th- like uh, there's an example of Trump uh, where he was, I think it was Muhammad Ali's fight um, he had a contract where he had to pay eleven million dollars to have the fight, and then at the same time, um, America just declared war on. Hmm, I'm gonna have to say this wrong. I think it was Iraq. Yeah. So they just declared war on Iraq, and then um, Trump pulled out the contract and said, "There's an act of war. I don't want to do it." Mm. Um, but the only reason he did it actually was because then he could renegotiate and then do it for a much cheaper price. Oh, like he okay. he he made a lot of money out of it, huh. but that was just like uh even if the war itself doesn't necessarily affect the like what you're doing that much, you can just say there's an act of war. Like our country's now at war. I can change all my contracts. Oh, hmm. there you go. Which is pretty crazy. That's crazy. That's really you're crazy. Perplexed, aren't you? Jim? I am. I am. <laughs> like I don't understand. Do you want me to? Let me just. You keep talking, and I'll that, find my PDF and that get sounds, you there. That sounds horrible. Like. You're already going through a bad situation. You're like, an insurance company goes, uh uh uh, don't come this way. Like, <laughs> what the hell, bro? Like, uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. No, you don't. <laughs> We've used, we have definitely used the act of God when, when declining someone's claim when they call up. Oh, and man. Some, one of my friends did have the response, well, I'm going to sue God. Like, they, they literally said that. Ooh. And they were being serious, like, well, there's got to be a way that I can sue God. And he was like, I'm going to speak to my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that. With this, to give an idea as well, because we're talking obviously different different economical impacts and stuff of coronavirus. Um, something that I heard that was quite interesting this week. And I say it's interesting. There's no context of it for me because I pay no attention to the stock market. But we're talking about um, the Dow Jones whatever that is in america <laughs> that apparently so this week it had um really big drops uh, yes, so on monday and thursday it had drops over a thousand points and like thursday's drop was the biggest drop in history but it was funny because donald trump tweeted on wednesday going oh it's it's probably down because um the democratic nominees are really bad oh my and this god it's got nothing to do with coronavirus <laughs> it'll all be fine oh and then god. the next day had a recorded record drop <laughs> that is crazy yeah but yeah it's just interesting to see how it has like especially this week with the spillover that they're talking about there's now more recorded cases outside of china yeah i just yeah. but now everyone's sort of in panic mode. okay wait are there more recorded cases or more recorded new cases I think new cases. Which is a bit different, right? I don't know in totality. I think there's now a fair amount outside of China. Yeah, so I think like the basically they're saying the rate of increase is greater outside of China than it was inside of China, but there's still a lot more people inside of China that have it compared to with people outside of China. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. I don't want to say either way because I don't know. Because what I do know is like a bunch of new countries have gotten cases this week. Yeah. But that because of the rate of increase and the amount of different countries, I don't know what total numbers are. Yeah, so right now there's 80... Well, I'll say right now. I'm not sure when this was last updated. 29th of February. Oh, there you go. 29th of February at 9.45. So that is an hour ago. Today. Yeah. Um, there is recorded uh, 85,000 cases, of which 79,000 are in China. Oh, jeez. So it is still... I didn't realise realize it was that... that. <laughs> Okay. But drastic. the rate of change, like there's more new cases outside of China now yeah, than there are in it. China. Yeah, because they got they're saying the person in America now they've got the first instance in America of someone who they have person no recorded person. contact with anyone who had it. Oh, um, so now they're when when they say that no knowing contact with anyone who had it, like they've they don't know that they've been in the same vicinity as anyone. Yeah, they, they don't remember, or they. They don't they remember, and the when they've or... question when they've questioned them yeah. about what they've been doing, they haven't. For the cases that they know of, that, that person pieces. wouldn't have crossed paths with yeah. them. Yeah, 
Um, mm-hmm. So that's now making them concerned and saying how many other people are now are affected because it takes, what is it, two weeks for symptoms to show. Have all the countries put a pandemic warning out? Because Australia did that two days ago. Uh, I don't so know. the Prime Minister confirmed that now we're <laughs> in a state of pandemic I've been emergency. Who, well, World Health Organization have been saying to prepare as if it's going to be one. Yeah. But who? haven't declared it to be who? one. <laughs> yeah, who? Okay. Who? Okay, yeah. Who? Cool. <laughs> okay, this is the exact wording from the exclusions, right? Yeah. From my work's home and contents policy. Yeah. Insurance. This is only one of the exclusions. War or warlike activity. However, war does not need to be declared. Oh. This is jumping back to the... Hostilities, rebellion, earlier. insurrection or revolution. So... Contamination by chemical and biological agents, which results from an act of terrorism. Not covered. Not covered. <laughs> this, this is... I, I had a job based off of things like this. Because when I worked for... Uh, nationwide doing PPR investigations that was because they had insurance with terms in it that were just ridiculous yeah well these terms are pretty standard across quite a lot of policies I think yeah they Um, the army the military one's always a funny one Uh, what's that military and acts of war but I I think the funniest act of war (laughs) insurance claim I heard was um, this guy who he had a a brand new TV this was a few years ago brand new TV and a fly, he, well, he had a pixel out and he didn't know what it was, so he sent it back. And a fly had flown and got in the back of the TV and like damaged the pixel. And they said, it's an act of God, sorry, we can't do anything about it. Act of God. That's not an act of God. That's an act of fly. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an act of God. See, we would have covered like, that. Oh, wait, and that was, they, they were allowed to not yeah. pay it out because of what, that. It depends what level of cover. So the certain levels of cover, you only have, like limited so basically whatever is specified in the policy is all you are colored for covered colored. for <laughs> but if you have like the top or accidental damage that would have covered them so if they only had like a listed events type cover then they would have your like, victim blaming Sorry. here Emma. so that if they only Sorry. gave away a certain amount of their money and not a little bit more of their money there you go then you don't get your t- <laughs> tv back that's madness act a fly is an act of god that is kind of crazy. Isn't everything an act of God then, if, you, if you're happy to say that? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd, how can you have act of God's in legal paperwork? I don't understand that. Yeah. I, I get know. it if it's like, because if it's a massive flood or something, right? I understand that because, like, in, I don't know, insurance companies then have to pay out to everyone as you go bust. It's like, let's all just agree. If something crazy happens, we all have to take a hit. But if it's yeah. a fly. <laughs> yeah, I know. A little fly that hits somebody's screen. You'd think, like, you'd think the the TV would be designed for that not to happen anyway. <laughs> yeah, how big is this gap? They probably test it against everything other than little flies. <laughs> Standard <laughs> procedure. Everyone knows you. The last test on most production belts is, is the, the fly. fly test. <laughs> yes. Even I know that. I don't even do this quality insurance bloody stuff. Quality the dreaded <laughs> fly test. <laughs> <laughs> Will it pass? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Anyway, yeah, so that's but it. Did you, you c- see that the health minister of Iran, did a, he did a speech saying about how like Iran's got it all, all under control. So just for, um, in case you didn't know, Iran's also the most deaths caused by coronavirus outside, outside of China, China, right? So their health minister or deputy health minister come on TV and said, we got it all under control. It's absolutely fine. Only the next day to realize that he actually had the <gasps> coronavirus. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So Madness. I heard that on Trevor Noah as well. And he said, so not only is the coronavirus like crazy spreadable, it also has a sick sense of humor. Oh. <laughs> that oh, is like, crazy. <laughs> That's cr- all I knew is that Iran was added to the no fly list. Yeah, because um, someone came from Iran into Australia and brought and, it from there and brought it in. Yeah. Which Wait, is- so you've got it in Australia. You've got cases. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got... Just um, down the road, Westmead. It's about 15 minutes away. What the br- what the person? Problem. There was like seven, eight people at Westmead with it. Yeah. Probably more you now. You have 25 cases in Australia. Yeah. There you go. But it's spread all over. Active like, and 15 yeah. recovered. But there's some just down the road. If, yeah. well, when you say like recovered, I, I don't understand. Like, if they haven't got a vaccine and stuff, 
Are they recovered because they don't have fever like... It gives you cold or flu type symptoms. Yeah. If you have a low immune system, it can further affect you if you're, if you're too late to get those symptoms treated. Right. Just then you treat it as a normal cold? Like, I think they're tr- my yeah. friend my friend is like yeah. a doctor who's done like um immunology and all that and he said it's basically cold and flu symptoms we treat the symptoms we do, we we fix the problem. Yeah. But it's the rate of spread and then some people may just treat it as a cold and not go to the doctor or whatever blah blah blah, blah. Mm. or may go too late or may have a low immune system. Yeah. And they're gonna, they're the ones that are going to be affected. Right. At okay. what point should you go to the doctor? I think it's I think yeah, I to think probably go if call you have... the doctor first. Like call the in England is it one 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 or one oh one? Not one oh one. What's the number for the the, you know, the non emergency helpline? You call them, just say, and then they'll tell you what to do because obviously they know. Yeah. Ours is health direct. I think in most reason. cases you call them before you go. Like it's just better for the whole system and yourself. Do that. Do that. Guys, <laughs> also while they're on this topic, mm. not funny, but what? the <laughs> South Korea outbreak, do you guys know yeah. about that? It's not funny. No. It's not funny. It's not funny. But they reckon it was a, 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 a cult that started that. Who, South Korea who did you one. hear that from? I read it. You read it? Because They reckon it was an actual cult. All the, the the sources of the coronavirus in South Korea came from this one cult, and one of the persons spread a su- had like super virus spreading abilities, and he spread. <laughs> <laughs> that, he's he's superpower. The worst sounding less, less ever. and less credible ever, like, as you go on. <laughs> he spread it to like I can't remember. It was like thirty eight or forty two people yeah, 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 yeah. alone by himself. Yeah, but they reckon they were doing it because some one of them said we need to save these people. Like he wanted to for them to die and go to heaven to be saved from this world. Yes. So they were purposely spreading so, this virus. So pause, pause for a second, right? Just pause for a second because I don't know if I gave you that information subliminally. Cause no, I, I told you. I told you. No, I told you the okay. other day. <laughs> okay, so your facts are wrong because I told you. I you obviously didn't. told you. <laughs> You've been on night shift, so you can't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've said this story uh, like numerous times and my version has changed every single time. What? I've I've changed it. I think it's souped up. I was like, I've said it so many to so many I've told it to so many different people that by the okay. my my version now What what the totally, what the truth probably is. One, yeah, no, it's no, 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 no. It's, it's a guy called Cole. <laughs> not not a cult. And no. He accidentally. Update <laughs> it was actually this. a horse. Update. A cult. There's an update. There's All an right. update. Wait, wait. Let me unpause. I've got to say, unpause. <laughs> <laughs> this was yesterday on foreign policy website. South Korea's cult and conservative sabotage virus response. They want them to die because they're trying to save their souls. Yeah. No, I I know about this um news. Because I told you. You didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh! So this th- this is something that actually like makes One me worry warning. in general. Huh? One minute warning. Oh, it's something that makes me worry, and not worry, but makes me curious more so in general. It's like I think if someone had it in London, for example, and they didn't show the symptoms and they went about their daily life, like how quickly would that spread? <laughs> with how close people are all the time on commutes and all that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like the whole city would have it within a day. <laughs> Just to end this one, like, mm. I don't know. Um, there was a meme and there's been plenty of memes. But do you remember the Simpsons 2004 meme? There's this meme of the Simpsons, right? Where they um, they showed the Chinese um, in a factory and one of the Chinese workers sneezed into a box, right? And um, that box got sent to Mr. Skinner, our principal Skinner. He <laughs> opened it and he got the virus right and that's and they're saying the that the simpsons foresaw, foresaw this the coronavirus spreading like <laughs> i want to see if i can see it this is the simpsons get the a simpsons lot of things pretty accurate that seems a, a bit um they're just trying to give simpsons credit for everything now can, <laughs> a, can the virus crazy. last that long in a box if you put it in a box and send oh it to america i don't know 
Anyway. Um, no, no, the answer. C- CJ. <laughs> CJ is going to be. <laughs> <coughs> CJ's going to be very upset Possibly when he finds Maxi. out that we've talked about coronavirus without him. Look, oh, 1993. Look. 1993. Yeah, the coronavirus outbreak in 2020, <gasps> Simpsons in 1993. Figured uh, it out. If you if you type in coronavirus outbreak, Simpson memes, you'll find it. No way. Serious. Oh. But in Norway, the, the health department, Melody, I have to confirm this, but she told me the health department is predicting that one in four people in Norway or they're preparing for one in four people in Norway to what? have the virus. Really? And, yeah. And in, in Japan, they, they've they stopped schools. Like, you, they don't go to school at the moment for a month to try and contain the outbreak. And they might not... And they said if it's still not, like, controlled by May, then they'll have to cancel the Olympics. Cancel the Olympics. Yeah. Because Dev was like, I wonder if they'll have to cancel the Olympics. Do you remember? This was back in Alexander, January. Alexander, do you remember when I said they got to, they might have to cancel the Olympics? And I was like, Because no, you were talking no. about yeah. the runners, the Nike shoes. And I said, oh, they'll have to um, cancel the Olympics. And Emma's like, no, they won't. I'm like. I didn't say it like what? that. I just yeah, said, no, no. You said it like I was not. like totally out of my head. And I'm like, <sighs> now I am look like a genius. Call me <laughs> Notre Dev. Love Not it. Not Dev. Not Hold on. Love it. I've, I've just I've just caught up with your Simpsons meme. Did they literally have a shot that says coronavirus in no, the Simpsons? No. No, I don't know if they I don't know if they put that in. That'd be part of the meme, wouldn't it? Cuz otherwise that's crazy. Mm.